Hi, I'm Dave. And this time I'm going to be taking a look at the Joytech Ego 18650 mod, which, as the name suggests, is a Joy Ego modified to take an 18650 battery. Obvious benefits there. Um, it kind of, for me, blurs the line a bit uh, between what we often perceive as a mod, which is something that, to my definition anyway, a mod is something uh, that has been ad modified, adapted from another purpose to be an e-cig. It may also be an e-cig that has been modified to be a better e-cig in somebody's view. This is a mass-produced mod. I'm not sure you can have a mass-produced mod. It's a factory-produced mod. But they're calling it a mod, so for the purposes of this video, we're going to as well. It's a very quick look at it. You basically got an 18650 battery tube, Ego Electronics in a cap, and I've stuck an atomizer on the top. As you can see it works, but let's have a closer look. Now when I was um, looking to pick one of these up, I went onto the Cloud9 vaping website and the first thing I noticed, and I, and I don't know what the reason for this is, but you can't buy this mod as a kit currently. If you remove the atomizer and I'll show you what you get. The mod consists basically of two parts. You've got the switch assembly on the top, which uh, forms the top cap, and then just a very basic battery tube, which is the bottom section. The bottom section tube is available in lots of different colours, so I'll slap a graphic up there, probably around here somewhere, uh, when I edit this together. Uh, so, but there were quite a few, there was at least half a dozen colours. And uh, I've gone for the um, the silver one. Yeah, this one's just called Steel Colour on the Cloud9 side. And uh, I think it looks lovely, to be honest. Now, before I separate the two components and take the battery out, uh, I'm going to warn you because what I found, the threads, whilst the threads are quite sort of, seem quite sort of solid, um, <clears throat> it does make a bit of a row when you connect or disconnect it from the battery tube. So you may hear some horrible squealy noise now. Well, maybe I'll be proved a liar. Let's see. I'm sure you heard that. I'm going to try something to remedy that a bit in a minute. But that way you can see it. Take the battery out. Um, I'm using an AW 2600 milliamp hour battery in there, 18650 obviously. Uh, the one without the uh, a positive nipple on the end. And it's working without any issues whatsoever. So just to give you an idea of battery size. If we look at the tube first, it is simply a tube. Sounds like aluminium, polished up to give a nice shiny finish. And if this the, this camera will pick it up and I really don't know if it will. Yeah, well there we go, you've got the Joytech logo. And it also says Ego T on there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of logos on e-cigs, to be honest with you. Uh, I like them to be sort of plain metal. So uh, uh, one of the reasons I went for the silver, because like with the other finish in the pictures at least, uh, like the black one, the logo was quite pronounced and I'm, I'm not really for that kind of thing. 
but um, there's not a lot to say about this you know it's threaded at the top there's a spring in the bottom spring uh, looks to be soldered in at the bottom so it's not going to fall out that's the tube covered so this is where the clever stuff is and what you've got here is uh, basically uh, ego circuitry joy ego circuitry so it has the five click on and off mechanism which I'll show you once we put the battery back in um, it's designed it with the ego fitting so it will take the skirted cartonizers and tanks um, you don't have to do that um, I'm guessing you can use a cone on it maybe we should try that here's a uh, a genuine joy cone that came with uh, either a tornado or an ego I honestly cannot remember which and yes as you can see it does screw on personally I don't like the cone some people do but there you go for completeness you can see that the cone fits if you want to use it so that's uh, pretty much all there is to it um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first of all I'm going to try and take care of that squeaky thread thing uh, if I try and put it on without the battery inside it seems to be even more pronounced so let me uh, demonstrate that noise goes straight through me <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just apply a little bit of Vaseline onto the thread I don't want it to go everywhere I just want a little bit on there I'm just going to apply a bit to the thread with my fingers trying to keep it away from the electrics and the, that positive terminal just to see if it helps a bit Yeah, it's just a little bit dabbed on there the threads don't seem too bad I mean they're not in they're clearly not the same sort of quality as something like a silver bullet or uh, or a super T device or anything like that but we're looking at uh, I think it was £9.95 for the switch assembly and £12.95 for the tube so you know this is a 23 pound mod it's not an 80 90 150 pound mod <laughs> um, the threads I would say are good enough that was a bit better wasn't it and if that's all you've got to do to get over that annoying squeaking sound then personally I can live with it Right, as I say, I'm using uh, an 18650-2600 AW battery without the pronounced positive terminal, the nipple on the end. This one's flat on the end. Uh, I did check, this is obviously a protected battery, and so it's quite large. I did check with Lisa at Cloud9 before I ordered it to see if, the, if I needed to get like a smaller battery or something. But it, it's probably worth checking before you order one whether your battery's gonna work, because I think if you were trying to use a truss fire with a nipple on the end or something, you might have some problems. In fact, why don't we try that? Here's a, uh, it's actually an ultra fire battery with the nipple protected battery so obviously a protected battery they tend to be a little bit longer than an unprotected or safe chemistry battery like an IMR because you've got the protection circuitry on the top but let's just see if it will actually go to go ah well <laughs> there's the first issue it will go in but that's damn tight and I'm not actually sure how that's going to come out now now absolutely no chance of getting that in there and I do think I'm probably going to have to use a pair of pliers to get it out. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, in the interests of science, I have just done further damage to the top of this ultrafire battery. And if you look at the top of that ultrafire battery, this is why I buy AWs. I've just made that a bit worse obviously 
but um, I'm sticking with these. I don't care if they cost more. I'm convinced they. I'm convinced I get my money's worth out of them. To be honest, that one goes in and comes out the way it should. Okay. So let's stick the top back on. As you can see, as the connection was made, the little battery, the little switch flashed a few times there. We're just going to give this a wipe, just get off the excess bits of Vaseline that I put on there. Get some of the fingerprints off it as well. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as many of these shiny mods are. There we go. Just to show you that it's got the five click on and off mechanism, you can see that the switch lights up when you press it if I press it five times flashes just like the ego and that's now deactivated so it won't go off in my pocket five more clicks it comes back to life so just before we stick an atomizer on the top I'm going to I'm just going to meter this and see what it puts out so I know what it should be so I'm just going to uh, meter this and see what it's putting out. Obviously, with it being ego circuitry, it's um, the output is regulated. So if I can just do the octopus thing. No fancy flute meters and clamps and things like that in this house. And that was giving me 3.3 volts. So that's a regulated 3.3 volts. There should be no drop off on the 18650 battery as you, uh, as it's used. Uh, there's none of this starting off at 4.2 and slowly dropping down to 3.7 from beyond. Uh, the circuitry in here will keep it at a constant 3.3 volts. So if you can find an atomizer or a cartomizer that you're happy with at 3.3 volts, that's what you're going to get. So all in all, I think it's a rather good little device actually, it's but £23, I can't think of many 18650 mods, especially regulated ones, uh, with features like the 5 click on and off, at that price, and consequently I've been using it rather a lot in the last couple of days and I do think that I can find a place in my eSig usage for it, I do. So that's the Joy Ego Mod for the 18650 battery from Joytech. As I say, I got mine from Cloud9 Vaping. Um, personally, I think at the price that you pay for this, you're getting quite a lot for your money. Um, but as always with these reviews, you have to be the judge of that. So uh, see you next time and thanks for watching.